So Notion's AI features have been out for a while now, but you might be struggling to actually find ways to implement it in your business systems. So in this video, I just wanted to walk through one very concrete use case, which is streamlining competitor research using Notion's AI features. We're going to break it down into three steps. First, we're going to ask Notion's AI to help us brainstorm a list of relevant competitors. Then we're going to get it to write a competitor report for each and every competitor. And then we're going to use some of Notion's database AI autofill features to help us summarize and produce a nice competitor's database, which we can review later. So let's take a look. So our goal is to fill out this new competitor's database table. I'm going to be sharing the template into the Landmark Labs library. Uh, so if you want to use the template that you're seeing in this video, you'll be able to if you're a Landmark member. The first step is going to be to ask Notion's AI to help us brainstorm some relevant competitors. So I've just used a custom AI block here with a prompt that's kind of pre-filled and ready. So we have two options. We can use this prompt here, or you can also use Notion's native AI chat integration. If you want to use the block, you can just give a little bit of information about your business. So let's just say I'm doing this for my other business, Bizway. So let's just say my Bizway, uh, my business is bizway.io, a business planning software that helps individuals plan and launch new businesses. Then the rest of the prompt is going to ask Notion to generate a bulleted list of 10 direct and indirect competitors. It's got a nice list, live plan, biz plan, on loop, plan guru. And for indirect, it's going for more productivity style platforms and it's included Notion. How convenient. So I just wanted to use this as a bit of a starting place. So now I have my list of potential competitors. Now I can go into a bit more detail on these competitor research reports. So this is just a blank table. I can add to the board for a new competitor report, or I can use this pre-filled button, which is going to actually just save me a little bit of time with some pre-filled sections. So if you are using the template, you can just use this new competitor button option, and it's gonna automatically open up the new competitor for us. And then we can just take one from this list, which let's just take live plan as our first competitor. And all I need to do is say live plan. I'm going to add it here as well. Live plan. And again, in this template, I've just included a prompt that's going to help Notion write uh, a nice competitor report for each new competitor that we add. So you can see that the competitors database has this custom AI block already built into it. Um, I can show you how I've done that later. But for now, you can see it's a very like quick uh, workflow, you just add the competitor name, and now it's going to go out through the research and write up a report for us. So live plans and business planning software, key features, target market, active customer base and size, strengths, weaknesses, pricing, etc. And that is our first competitor added to the list. So we can just go one by one through this list here. Let's say biz plan. Again, this little block is going to pop up since I'm using the database template for every new item that is added. Let's generate a report. Add a new competitor. Plan Guru, let's say. Plan Guru. And there we go. We can just continue doing this for the either any competitors that we are already aware of and we'd like to add into our database or we can use the list that's been generated from Notion. So I did mention you can also use the chat. So if you have been storing a lot of information about your business throughout your Notion workspace, this might actually be a nice way to use Notion's AI and its knowledge of what you've been working on to come up with some more relevant competitors. So I could ask it, can you help me brainstorm a list of 10 relevant competitors for my business project Bizway. Now I've been storing a lot of things in this Notion Landmark Labs workspace, so let's see if it figures it out. Yep, it's spotted that I'm talking about Bizway.io and it's given me a similar list of competitors. 
So that's two ways that you can use Notion's AI to help you brainstorm. And then you can use a custom AI block that is built into your database template to help you really speed up the process. So how did I create that template? Let me just quickly show you. This is a database just called competitors. And if I check the template for new competitor, I can edit this here. And all I've done is I've just created a custom AI block, which I can do here by typing forward slash and start searching for custom AI block. And then I can put in whatever prompt I want to reuse with every template. So in this case, I've just written a short prompt outlining the competitor report that I would like. And now whenever I add a new item to this competitor's database, it's going to use that database template by default if I set it here. So I need to click set as default to make sure that happens. Or when I click this button, I've also configured the button so that it is adding a new page to competitors. And here Notion has this nice feature where you can select a database template for every new page that gets added. So last thing I want to show you, if I go to this table view, you can see there are some AI autofill properties that are empty for the moment. And what I've done again is I have created a property, which is AI autofill. And the option is custom autofill. So you have a few different options for this AI autofill option. And again, all I need to do is provide a prompt with what I would like Notion to extract or generate based on the information of the page. So in this case, let's take our live plan example. If I click this update, what should happen is Notion's AI autofill is going to read everything on this page as well as use its just general ChatGPT knowledge to extract uh, the website link for live plan. So let's see what happens. There we go. So we've got live plan. If I hover over it, I can see if I click it, it's taking me to the live plan website. And now I have these very quick AI autofill options, which are going to help me just summarize my table into the key information that I would like. So value proposition, pricing, customer base. I can do this for my competitors very, very quickly, just using these AI autofill properties. Now it's not always going to have the information. It's not always going to be perfect, but again, we're just talking about streamlining and speeding up any of these common kind of research uh, business process tasks where you would like to start using Notion's AI to help you speed up your workflows. So just to recap, there are two ways that you can use Notion's AI to help you with brainstorming and research tasks to get started. So in our case, we, in our case, we wanted to brainstorm competitors. So we can use a prompt inside of a custom AI block, or we can just chat with our Notion chat directly. Second, we then used database templates with a custom AI block to help us speed up the process of adding new competitors. Now I just put that into a button just to make it even simpler, but you can simply start by adding your own database template and putting in a custom AI block that's gonna help you fill any task that you like. And finally, we started using Notion's AI autofill property to help us quickly summarize and get the key points about our competitor report into a more digestible table format. So this of course is just one concrete use case for how you can start to work with Notion's AI features. Hopefully it gives you ideas for other tasks that you would like to automate. And of course, if you'd like to use this template and edit the properties and the prompts to be more suited to your own competitor research, then you will need to be a Landmark Labs member, but this template will now be available in the Landmark Labs library. Thanks for watching.